Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to build this dashboard here from scratch using Docker to monitor a Linux server. And we are not going to manually make any of this stuff, so all of this is going to be done with Grafana's provisioning, or using basically making all this stuff using configuration files. So we're not going to be manually, we're not going to be using this UI to create anything. It'll all be done with YAML files, Docker Compose, and things like that. And before I go any further, let me talk about how this works. So there are three pieces in getting this whole thing up and running. The first one is Grafana, which of course is this web application UI right here. The other one is Prometheus, which is a data source for Grafana that we can see right here. And Prometheus is connected to it by, if we run test, we can see we're successfully connected. And the location is inside the Docker network. And we can tell by the name of the container is Prometheus-C, which is a Docker container name. And what Prometheus does is it scrapes another Docker container we have spun up called Node Exporter. And Node Exporter basically collects system level metrics from Unix-like systems and exposes them in a way that Prometheus can scrape. So let me go back to our dashboard and we have our Node Exporter dashboard right here. This is all coming from the Node Exporter container. Basically, we have Docker volumes that map certain directories on our host machine to the Node Exporter container, which then analyzes them pushes up this stuff to a metrics route. So it'll be like node exporter dash metrics, then Prometheus scrapes this route, and then we're connected to Prometheus with Grafana, and we can get this nice dashboard of all this information. So basically Prometheus is designed to capture metrics by scraping an HTTP endpoint, which is known as a metrics endpoint, and that's the one that node exporter is exposing. And then we just have our Grafana web application right here that allows us to visualize data sources using graphs, charts, things like that. But in this video, we're gonna build all of this from scratch. So to start this project, just open up an empty directory with your favorite code editor. And the first thing we're gonna do is define some environment variables in a .env file. And I'm gonna paste these in like I'm gonna do throughout this video and then just explain what's going on. But essentially, all these variables are just gonna be used to define the locations of each of our Docker containers. So we have our node exporter container, Prometheus container, and Grafana container. And the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder called config which will hold our configurations. And the first thing we're gonna configure is Prometheus. We're gonna do this in a file called prometheus.yaml. And I'm gonna paste in this code here. But essentially what we wanna configure Prometheus to do is scrape the metrics from node exporter and also the Prometheus server itself. So right here, we just have some global settings. So basically the default value is 15 seconds. Then we create two jobs, one called Prometheus and one called node exporter. The Prometheus one will scrape the Prometheus server every 10 seconds, and the node exporter job will scrape the node exporter container every, it'll be the global default of 15 seconds, and at this location. And note that these are container names, so this Prometheus C is our container here, and then back in here, our node exporter C is our node exporter container. And also, we're not using environment variable substitution in our Prometheus file, because Prometheus basically doesn't handle environment variable substitution out of the box with Docker. You can create your own entry point scripts, which I'll have a video on how to do that. But for this, I'm just gonna hard code them like this in here. But we will import this Prometheus configuration into our Prometheus container. And then of course, once again, it'll just scrape metrics from both the node exporter container and our Prometheus container. And we'll see more on this in action later. But next I wanna start defining our services. And we're gonna do of course, all of this inside a docker compose.yaml file. And the first thing I wanna do is define some volumes and a network. So I'm just gonna paste these in here. So our network is gonna be called monitoring and it's gonna be a bridge network. And basically a Docker bridge network uses a software bridge to allow container communication and it also isolates containers that aren't connected to that bridge network. So all of our containers are Prometheus, Node Exporter and Grafana will be in this monitoring bridge network. Then we just have some named volumes, so named Docker volumes for data persistence, which essentially makes it so when you shut down the containers, the Prometheus one will keep the Prometheus data and the Grafana one will keep the Grafana data so we don't have to start from scratch each time. And real quick, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also check out my courses and Chrome extensions linked in the, in the description. You'll find them pretty cool. I've also got courses that go more in depth on stuff like this, so check that stuff out as well. But now we've got this stuff defined. The next thing I wanna do is start our Prometheus service. And so I'm once again, just gonna paste this in. I'm gonna do it below here. What I actually need to do is create a services key 
and the first one we're gonna have is Prometheus. And so essentially, what we will do with this Prometheus service is spin up a Prometheus container, import our Prometheus configuration file into the container using volumes, and also expose the default Prometheus port, which is in our environment variable file and is port 9090, which is right here. And this location inside the container, so etc Prometheus, Prometheus.yaml, is where Prometheus reads its configurations from, which is why we load our configuration file there. And note, if you don't know, we use expose as opposed to port because expose just exposes the port in the Docker network and not actually out to the host. And this is because we're gonna be using Grafana to access from the host. We're not gonna be accessing either Prometheus or Node Exporter directly. They're just gonna be accessed by Grafana within the Docker network. And also note that I'm commenting out this Prometheus data um, volume that we have here, just because for this demonstration, I just wanna start from scratch each time. But if you wanna persist everything, I would uncomment this line. And now let's start with our next service, which is gonna be our node exporter service. And this will also describe how, a or demonstrate how a lot of this is going to work. So once again, this is just going to create a node exporter container. And what's important here is that we map several host volumes to the container to collect system level metrics. So these volumes right here are very important. We have the dash proc directory, dash sys, and then our root directory. And these are how we are gonna collect metrics of the system. So it is Docker volumes that are basically the bread and butter for getting this whole thing up and working, being able to read what's going on inside the machine. So right here, this dash sys directory basically provides an interface to the kernel to expose system related information. Dash proc right here provides an interface to the kernel to expose process related information. And dash is the root file system of the host machine and contains all the directories and files on the system. So this basically maps everything over. And also note, we put everything as read only because we are accessing sensitive stuff on our host machine. It's good that we specify read only so that our host machine isn't altered in any way because these are some pretty um, sensitive locations. And once again, we just expose our port in the Docker network and we add it to the monitoring network as well. So now we've got Prometheus and Node Exporter ready to go. Maybe I should zoom, maybe I should zoom in one more. The next one we want to do is Grafana. So our final service is going to be our Grafana service. And so what we want to do in here is this time we want to use the ports attribute and we are going to map a location on our host machine to the container. And this is so that we can access the Grafana web application. And then we have some volumes right here which are going to be used to import pre-made Grafana configuration files. This data sources.yaml file will connect our Prometheus data source and this dashboard.yaml file will fill our pre-made Grafana dashboard. And then we have our dashboard.json, which is gonna be how we style or basically create the dashboard. So we configure the dashboard here and we actually create it here. And then here we are depending on Prometheus because we want Prometheus up and running before we start trying to connect to it. And then we also, I believe, had it depends on node exporter here for Prometheus because Prometheus is going to be scraping node exporter's metrics route. So we want to, make sure that it's up and running before we go any further. But so let me now go more in depth on this stuff here. So this is known as provisioning, what we're doing here with the Grafana image. And basically provisioning makes life easier by we can configure Grafana with configuration files as opposed to adding everything manually. So it's a kind of a pain, especially if you wanna spin up multiple instances, how you have to go in, change everything, um, and so on. So it's easier to just have a configuration file that you can just load up when the container starts and everything will look the same. And so let me start working with these. And the first one I wanna create is gonna be datasources.yaml. And so let me paste in here. And so of course, this datasources.yaml is gonna be used to connect to Prometheus. And what it's gonna do is we specify the URL to correct, con connect to, which is gonna be our Prometheus container and port, because remember they're in the same Docker network. So we can use the container name because Docker has DNS under the hood. And then we're gonna set the access to proxy as we're gonna be going through the Grafana server. And then we're gonna set the type to Prometheus because it's a Prometheus data source. And we're just gonna call it Prometheus. And all of this, so just when we spin up Grafana, will be connected to Prometheus already, which is pretty handy. And now the next one we wanna do is our dashboards, or dashboard, dashboard.yaml. And once again, let me just paste this in here. And so what this thing will do is just define how Grafana will manage and load our dashboards, which for us is gonna be our node exporter dashboard. And a very important spot right here is dash var, dash lib, dash Grafana, dash dashboards, 
which is where our dashboard JSON files are located. And if we look back in our Docker Compose.yaml file, we are mapping a dashboard.json file to that location. So varlib grafana dashboards, so then it will load it up, So which we specify in our configuration file. And then we have some other things here like update interval seconds, how we'll check for updates in the dashboard, um, if we allow UI updates, things like that. But this is how we can configure to get dashboards up and running quickly. And now the next thing we want to do, so configuring or creating your own dashboard file takes quite a, can take quite a while. And so because of this, there are lots of um, friendly people online that have made some really good ones that we can just use ourselves. And so I'm going to be taking one from grafana.com. It's called Node Exporter Full. I'm sure you've, if you're familiar with Grafana Node Exporter, you've heard of it before. Um, but it's a very common one people use and what we're going to be using in this. And basically, uh, let me, it'll be easier if I just show you what it is. I'll paste the link in the description too. But if we go to grafana.com dash grafana dash dashboards, and then we look at node exporter, let me zoom in here. We have this one called node exporter full, which will give us this nice dashboard, which would take a long time to get it set up ourselves. But if we just, you know, use one that someone's already made, then th thank you to that person because we can just mooch off them, I guess. And so the first thing we're going to do is just go down here. And I'm just going to download the one at the top. So just download it like this. And now back in our code editor here, I'm going to go into my downloads and I'm just going to take this file. I'm just going to drag it into our config right here. And then I'm just going to rename it to, I think we just called it dashboard.json. And if we go inside, we can double check, but if we go to Docker compose, yeah, we called it dashboard.json. So this will load it into this location in the container and then our configuration file will make it so it'll be created right away. But this is all it takes to get this set up. So all we need to do now is just ensure that we are at the top level of our directory or our project, and we just need to run docker compose up. And when we run this, it'll automatically use our .env file because by default, docker compose will look for a .env file. And so that's what it's doing right now. It'll load them into the images. So we're just pulling them from Docker Hub or Google or wherever it is at the moment. And we can see them all being created. And here are our logs. And it looks like we have an error here, actually. So it says dashboard.yaml error, EDC version dashboards. So we must have a volume issue because if we look here, it created a directory. And that's because we have, we named it dashboard.yaml without the A, whereas in here, we have it with an A. So I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to rename this to dashboard.yaml. YAML. And now I'm just going to run dark compose down and then let's just put everything up again. And I don't see that error anymore. So what we can do now is let's go to by default Grafana runs on port 3000. And that's also what we set inside our environment variables. But if we load it up, here we are. So we're on the Grafana page and what we need to type in is the default username and password. You can configure these with environment variables. And I have a video on that. If you're curious, you can find it. Just type in WIT code dockerizing Grafana, you'll find it. But basically by default, if you don't do that, it'll be admin just like this. And the password is also admin. Then we can log in. It'll ask you to set a new password. We're just going to skip all this stuff. And now let me show you how it worked. So because of our provisioning, if we go to data sources, we already have Prometheus set up. And that's because of our provisioning configuration files that we made. And if we click in here, let's just test that it worked. So if we run test, we have successfully queried which basically means we can find it, we're connected to it. Um, let me go back now. The other thing is that we really want to see is our dashboards. And here's our node exporter full dashboard, which we also created with provisioning. If we click in here, here's everything set up. So there's not much data here because um, I just started everything, but let me try the last five minutes and we get some more data here. And so now we get all this useful information. So we can see our CPU information, system load, number of cores, uptime, RAM, all this stuff. Um, and then we have more information down here. So storage disk, uh, one of my personal favorites, I like to look at the network traffic. You can see all this stuff. Um, and all this was created very easily, but just a lot of hard work that other people have done really. But so, so once again, if you like content like this, check out my courses and also my software that I've made in the description. Um, if you can, give me some good feedback on it. Um, besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.